This time on Pole House Black Pot Weekend Getaways, we have a favorite dessert. Well, welcome back to another On the Porch Weekend Getaway. A family favorite, <laughs> and this one really is. If you like cheesecake, you'll like this. Or rich in Cream buttery cheesy. and all that good stuff. It's called... Gooey Butter Cake. I thought it was ooey gooey butter cake. No, you can do it. If you undercook it, it's ooey gooey. Oh, it is. Yeah, <laughs> and this is actually a lemon flavor. You can do a regular... Flavored, but we're doing We had today. no plans at all to go camping this weekend. No. Uh, we'll show you what our yard looks like. The snow's melting. We're both in our shirt sleeves. But we had another good storm, and everything, the ground underneath is froze several inches under, which means the water that's, the snow that's melting and causing water it can go in anywhere. So it's nice and sloppy on yeah, the Yeah, it's like being in a ball. But it's a marsh. beautiful day. It's yeah, Sunday. It's gorgeous. It's actually about 60. We had, well, we had one day last week, which was real warm, in the mid 60s, like Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah, and then, and then Thursday, the bottom Thursday, fell out of it, and we wound we had, up with what, seven inches of snow? Yeah, ice and snow and sleet. And then Thursday night, it got to zero. And now it's back up to 60. So, you know, it's one of them crazy. Well, it's wintertime it in is Missouri. Winter, it's Missouri, so we can have crazy stuff. But, uh, so, yeah, we're going to be out here where we can do nice and dry underfoot uh -huh. and uh, make some. It's a good, rich winter time. So that's it's what not we're good on diabetics, though. No, it's pretty, pretty, a <laughs> lot of calories in it, too, yeah, I'm it sure. Is. So, we're going to go ahead and say it's, it's a two, two layers, kind of a, a crust, and then it's got a filling. So, we're going to be right back and uh, start on the first part, which is the crust. See you in a few minutes. Okay, first of all, we need to make is the crust. And that is fairly simple. It's only three ingredients. Start with no brand preference, whatever flavor you like will probably work, but we're using lemon. We're using vanilla is a good plain one. But usually these two would be the best vanilla or a lemon. Is it beating your butt there, dear? Ooh, should have opened it ahead of time. makes a fairly stiff mix because it's called the crust. So take a whole lot once it comes together. We'll be ready to place it in the bottom of our Dutch oven. All right. Uh, Let me here. have a look in here. Yep, there it is, all together. Look, it's bright. Put it down in the bottom. Okay. Now, roll my sleeves up. Get into the nitty gritty here. All we have to do is take out 
or pie crust. Or pie crust. It's not pie, it's cake. Okay. Yeah, it's more like cheesecake than anything else. Yeah, it's kind of like a cheesecake and a combination. Of, kind of like a bar cookie, too. Yeah. More than it is cake, really. So, now I am going to attempt to spread this out. This is one of them that's kind of tricky because it's a little bit sticky. So, what I'm going to do that I found works pretty good is spread it out best I can with my spoon. Now, my hands are clean. I just washed them. Yeah, he did just wash them. I'm attested to that. We're going to get some of this extra off. Now, to keep it from sticking too bad to my fingers, I'm going to use a little bit of freaking spread. Then, just kind of start patting it down in the bottom of our Dutch oven. If your hands start sticking a little bit, your fingers, put a little more spray on your hands. Now, I'm going to overlap and get a little bit of a lip, lip around the outside edge. I don't need a whole lot. Kind of keep that filling using out around the edge. We need it real deep, real thick, just a little bit. Okay, I think that is it. Okay, so I'm gonna put the lid on this. So we're going to set it aside because we're going to come back and do the fit cheesecake. It starts off with, of course, a brick of cream cheese. And it's stuck room temperature. Yeah. Got to be able to mix it in nice and smooth. Yeah, it's got to be smooth. Two eggs. No eggshells. Teaspoon of vanilla. It's the biggest one. And three teaspoons, which equals what, dear? One tablespoon of lemon. You could also use lime. Just gives it a little lemony flavor. Because yeah. Wade neglected to tell you, what cake mix did you put in there? A lemon cake mix. Sorry. Now, if you were doing a vanilla cake, just do a regular gooey butter cake, you can leave the lemon juice out completely. Yeah. And I would just put the vanilla. Yeah. Put the vanilla in it and call it good. Got cream cheese on here. And you're gonna notice I'm using our rusty trusty. It's not rusty. Mixer that doesn't take any the wireless mixer. Rechargeable. Now you just keep mixing until it's nice and ooey gooey. And it may take a few minutes, so we'll be right back. Oh, I forgot something. Didn't I, honey? Well, it's not very sweet. Now, this is right out of town. We're going to reserve a tablespoon or two for garnish after right it's at a pound is what it says yeah which is about three and a half to four cups i think is what there. i remember We're correctly call that. is that too much you think no that'd be all if we don't need it all we won't use it all well, wearing it aren't you yes i am Maybe that'll help that cheese get a little more mixed in, too. Ooh! Well, 
this is gonna take a few minutes. Is it gonna have enough power? Oh yeah. The thing is, I don't want to be wearing all the powdered sugar. Oh man, this smells good. Okay, well you come in here and look at this now. See how silky it looks? Yeah. I'd say it's about wanted. ready, isn't it? Yeah. Getting come around on. the edges real good. Wipe the edges down and we'll mix it one more good time because you won't you not a problem. You won't be over mixing it. Uh -uh. So I think it said three to four minutes to get it good and smooth, so Ooh, I get to lick the bowl, right, honey? Yeah. When we come back, we'll start to bake. Yep, the lid on and let her sit and I'll get charcoal going. Here, take a look. Come in here. Here. Mm. Finger looking good. Already. Yep. 30 pieces of charcoal. Are they ready? They're ready. Yep, they yeah. are, aren't they? And this is a regular baked item, so we're going to do about 10 and 20. So, and as always on the bottom, we put the charcoal around the outside edge only. And then, of course, we just put a checkerboard on the top. We need some in the middle, some 
I need some. I got and I move them out. So we'll do a nice solid ring around the outside edge. And if you were baking this inside, how much, how many degrees would you put your oven? Uh, about 350. She do it. I think it's 35 to 40 minutes. So hopefully we'll have enough heat. Now the breeze is kind of blowing around, so to help deal with that, we're gonna put on our wind guard, and we're still gonna do so I say at least 30 minutes. So we're probably still gonna do about a 10 minute, and we'll come back and rotate it just like we do with normal baking. So. Hey, right, wait! I got one more question What's for that? you. We're using a 12 inch Dutch oven. What Pyrex would fit this recipe? Okay, if you were going to do Pyrex, you do a, a cake pan. Normal cake pan is nine by 13. Same size as far as surface area as a 12 inch round. So, works good. Uh, cross those two next together. So we'll be back when it's time to turn. Yep. First rotate. What's doing? Time for the second rotate. Oh, that's my gloves. Hold on. About 20 minutes now. Now, are you going to check this? Oh, we probably could. But if we do, what's going to happen? Well, a long time to add time to your cooking. So, we know it's not going to be done yet. So, there's really not much use in even taking So, if you're off. looking... You're not cooking. So, we'll go ahead and give another 10 minutes and then we'll look. That'll give us about 30 minutes good time. Then we'll see how we're doing. Okay, it's been... I smell it. 30 minutes. Yeah, Let's check I it. I think it's done. Oh yeah. It's almost. It needs a little bit more brown. You see it'd be a little bit jiggly, which is it okay. It is just a little bit jiggly. Let's get a little bit more brown on top. A few more minutes. Beautiful. Well, it's been what, seven more minutes? Yeah, about seven or eight more minutes. Or... Let's just see what it looks like now. Should be hopefully. Oh yeah, that's done. There we go. Just got a little bit of brown on top. Beautiful. All right, now. We got to let this rest a little bit. Yeah, we'll pull it out of here so it cools down good. Because usually this is eight, eaten, whatever the word is. Cold. Yeah, after it cools down. So, so and it's pretty jiggly still. Yeah, it's supposed so. to be a little jiggly when, when it first comes out. So it just needs to kind of settle and cool. And then we're going to put a little bit of powdered sugar and show you how to serve it. Yep. Be back in just a little while. Well, Wade's, it's getting dark as you can tell out here. It's getting very dark. So we're going to show you how we serve this up. You make it look party by just putting a little bit of par powdered sugar on there. Parmesan sugar. <laughs> and it looks like that. And then we're going to try a piece of this. Yeah, we have to let it cool real good before yeah, you serve it. Because so. if you don't, then it like cheesecake. One with a gooey butter cake. Yep. Oops. I don't want to take the aluminum foil here. Two of them up there. Good. His and her pieces. That's right. And if you wanted to get extra fancy, just hit it with a little bit more powdered sugar. Why don't you come on in here, bud? I guess we need to taste it, don't we? So 
Time for take taste. This piece, you take the other one. Some lemony, uh huh, gooey. Yep, you wouldn't think that that little bit of lemon juice would flavor it that much, but it did. That's that lemon cake underneath yeah. it in the crust, perfect. So, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share us on Facebook or something. Yep, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week for another weekend getaway, maybe just on the front porch, though. Yep.